I'm here uh, uh, talking to Rick Kaplan. Now, I understand that you have quite a supply of dog paintings. Is that, is that right? Yep. How I'll did be you? The largest in uh, Los Angeles area for sure. And uh, what are some of the more interesting uh, subjects of these dog paintings? A lot of them are done by George Armfield. Their George. Painting. So George Armfield. George Armfield. He's a well-known English painter that uh, did most of his stuff in the uh, third quarter of the 19th century. Uh huh. And uh, they're terriers with. Uh, uh, most popular theme would be ratting. Uh, ratty? Ratting. Ratting. They ratting, were, what does that mean? Uh, very popular theme that terriers were known for being great uh, rat catchers in the oh, rat catchers. of the houses. So, so, so a lot of the themes are uh, terriers, you know, basically. So do you have any shots of any, do you have any paintings of any, of any terriers with a rat in his mouth or something no, like that? It, it doesn't, he never did anything with rats in his mouth. Most of them were them uh, going through the hay in the uh, farm and the barns and whatever uh, looking for rats so it's you, you never saw the rats on occasion you do but most of the time it's just them hunting for the rats and so you have around 40 of these I have about uh, 12 of those in inventory right so, now and then I have other dog themed paintings from the late 19th century and who is another uh, dog themed artist uh, there's Langloy. 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 And what's Langloy's first name? Uh, to be honest with you, I forget. And where, where is he from? England. England. Most of all the great dog paintings came from England since they were the largest lovers in the world of animals as far as dogs were concerned. And about what time period? Is this Late all? 19th century, so. mid 19th century. The most expensive uh, dog art is usually from that part of the world. Wow, great. Okay. Yeah, 